In these examples, we're going to use the graphs of f and g to find different combinations of functions and the composition of functions. Let's look at the first example. We need to find f plus g of negative 3. The first thing you need to do is write down what the definition tells you this equals. So remember, the sum function means f plus g of negative 3 is just f of negative 3 plus g of negative 3. So we just need to find this value and this value from the graph and then add the results together. So remember, if I say f of negative 3, it means x equals negative 3, find the value of the function f at x equals negative 3. Notice the blue graph is the graph of f. So I have to find x equals negative 3, go 3 to the left, here's x equals negative 3, and then if I go up here, here is my point on the graph, and what is that y value? y value equals 3. So f of negative 3 is positive 3. Repeat the process to find g of negative 3. When x equals negative 3, go back to the graph. g is the purple graph. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 to the left. Go down. It touches the graph right there. What is that y value? y value is negative 1. So g of negative 3 is negative 1. So 3 plus negative 1 is 2. Therefore, f plus g of negative 3 is just 2. Okay, now let's look at my next example. In this one, I need to find the domain of f plus g. So I'm going to have to write find the domain of f and the domain of g and then figure out what they have in common. Remember, we write the domain of f, capital D with a subscript f, equals. Well, what x values does f take on? f is the blue graph. So the blue graph starts at this point here. Its x value is negative 2. So my domain of f starts at negative 2. Remember, we read a graph from left to right, so it goes from negative 2 all the way down to this point here, and what is its x value? 5. So the domain of f is negative 2 to 5. What is the domain of g? Well, g starts here. What is its x value? Negative 3. g starts here. It continues all the way to this point here. Right here, what's its x value? 6. So the domain of g is negative 3 to 6. So now the domain that I'm looking for of f plus g is just the intersection of those two domains. It's what do they have in common? Well, if I look at the graph, this region in here, they're not, they do not both exist between negative 3 and 2, so they don't have that region in common. But they both exist between this point, where x is negative 2, all the way to this point, where x is 5. And then f does not exist to the right of that. So what they have in common is negative 2 to 5. And we put square brackets on the end because we have points at negative 2 and 5. So that is the domain of f plus g. It's what the two domains have in common. Now the last example we want to look at is we want to find a composition given the graph of f and g. So... We're trying to find f composed with g of negative 5. Well, the first thing is you write the definition. Remember, composition, f composed with g, means f at g at negative 5. And we always work from the inside out. So first of all, you're going to have to figure out from the graph what is g of negative 5. That means when x is negative 5, figure out the value of the function g. So looking down here, g is my red graph. 
So I need x to equal negative 5. So I go along here. His x equals negative 5. Go up to my graph. Here's my point. What is the y value? 2. So I know g of negative 5 is 2. So now I'm going to substitute this in for g of negative 5. So now I, all I have to do is find the value of f at 2. That means when x is 2, find me the value of the function f. f is the blue graph. So when x equals 2, 1, 2, go on up to the graph, gets me to this point here. Go across, what's the value? 4. So my answer is 4. So f composed with g of negative 5 is 4.